In the rapidly evolving field of AI, vector databases have emerged as crucial tools for handling vectorized data, particularly in tasks like similarity search. Vectors, essentially arrays of numbers, are used to represent data in high dimensional space. These vectors are often the output of embeddings generated by machine learning models and are used to capture the semantic meaning of texts, images, or other modalities. A vector database is designed to efficiently store, index, and search these high dimensional vectors. It enables fast and accurate retrieval of similar vectors, making it indispensable for applications such as recommendation systems, image recognition, and natural language processing. There are multiple vector databases available today, each with its own strength and weakness, tailored for various use cases. I have been covering these vector databases a lot in previous few months, and we have gone through various of them. But in this video, instead of going into separate databases, I am going to give you the pros and cons, strengths and weaknesses of each vector database and also will guide you as how you can use them, when to use which vector database and then towards the end, I will share my own personal recommendation which I have found out quite well working in most of the use cases out there or in other words, if in these days I have to select a vector database which one I would go with. But one thing I want to disclaim is that things are changing very rapidly. New and novel products are coming up almost every day, not even every week. So this advice might not be relevant in near future. So you need to stay up to date. You need to keep um, your tabs on the pulse of the industry. So, you know, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel because I have been covering these databases and lot of other technologies almost on daily basis. So make sure that you remain up to date. Okay, so now let's start our review of these vector databases. First and foremost, we have Viviet. Viviet is one of the more popular databases out there when it comes to vectors. Let's look at uh, first its strengths. The first strength is that Viviet really excels in understanding the meaning behind search queries, offering more than just vector similarity. It leverages GraphQL for flexible and powerful queuing. It also provides modules for handling text, image and other data type, making integration straightforward. Viviet has an active community, good documentation and robust support mechanism. But there are also some weaknesses associated with Viviet. First, for very large datasets and high throughput scenarios, Viviet might be slower compared to other databases like Milvus. Being relatively new, some features might lack the maturity seen in more established databases. So when you should be using Viviet? You require strong semantic search capabilities in your application and your dataset size is moderate. Then it makes sense. It's also a good choice when you need community support and straightforward integration modules. And that is where I will go with Viviet. Second databases which I want to review when it comes to vector store is Milvus. Milvus has become quite popular in recent days. One of the most touted strengths of Milvus is its high performance. Milvus is designed for speed and scalability efficiently handling massive data sets and high query volumes. It has also got a very mature ecosystem as it is established with a large community, extensive documentation and diverse tool integrations. It is quite flexible as it supports various indexing algorithms and distance metrics, allowing for significant customization. Milvus comes with few weaknesses too. It has less emphasis on semantic search as it primarily focuses on vector similarity search without the semantic understanding capabilities of Viviet. It also has got steeper learning curve because its setup and configuration might be more complex to 
Pvt and various other databases. So when you should be using it? If you are handling very large data sets, if you require high performance, if you need flexibility in indexing and searching, then it is particularly beneficial. So when scalability is your primary concern, go with Milvus. Next vector database which I really like is PG Vector. PG Vector is an extension of PostgreSQL. There are many strengths of PG Vector. First, it's simple. It leverages PostgreSQL, which many are already aware of, and it makes it easy to integrate into existing workflows. Secondly, it's very, very cost effective. It utilizes existing Postgres infrastructure, potentially reducing costs. And when I say reducing cost, there is a lot of optimization and reduction. The performance is quite decent too, as for moderate sized data sets, it works really well. There are a couple of weaknesses. First, it might struggle with very large data set and high query loads. So scalability might be an issue, but there are workarounds uh, towards it. Then the features are limited because it focuses on simply the task of a vector store and few others. But Milvus, Viviate and few others, they offer more customization and more features. So when you should be using a PG vector with PostgreSQL, if you have a moderate to slightly larger data sets and are already using PostgreSQL, it's a no brainer that you should be going with PG vector. It's very cost effective and easier to integrate without needing a specialized database. Next option, which is getting quite popularity these days is Quadrant. Quadrant is known for its fast performance. If that is your primary concern, that you don't care about anything else but just performance and speed, just close your eyes and then adopt Quadrant, I would say at these days. If you are also looking for a bit of flexibility where you just need a secondary database, Quadrant could be a good choice. There are few weaknesses. It depends on secondary database like Postgres for complete solution. So that is where maybe some people just, uh, you know, be put off. But if you're already using Postgres, maybe in an open source way, why not? If you want a secondary database for performance. So if your speed is your critical factor and you're comfortable using it alongside another database for a holistic solution, Quadrant is a good choice. Maybe you could just go with PG Vector with PostgreSQL and then Quadrant as a performance uh, horse in addition to it. Another option which is quite interesting is LandsDB. It is quite well known for its resource efficiency as its on disk storage reduces memory requirements. Integration is also quite cool because it um, because native Python support is also there with a Rust backend that ensures speed for non-serverless applications. But scalability is a big issue. So if you have a large deployment or even a good medium sized deployment, it might struggle. So when you should be using it. If your first priority is memory resource management and you are working with Python applications that do not require serverless setups, LandsDB is a good choice. Another interesting option could be DuckDB. This is really perfect for small scale projects or prototyping for development because it's an embedded in process database. It's very, very well integrated with Python. So if you have a, a application with Python API, this is great. Ideal for quick setups and testing vector storage and similarity search in SQL really makes a breeze. One of the biggest weakness is concurrency. It cannot handle multiple writers, so which limits its usage in large real-time applications or even in development when multiple developers are working on it. And when you should be using it, if you are just prototyping, if you are doing POC, if you are just trying out as a small hobby project or scenarios where your process is the sole access point to the vector database, DuckDB is a very, very fast, quick, easy choice. So what do I recommend? Well, Milvus stands out in terms of performance, as I already said. But if you are also looking for scalability and versatility, 
then Viviate excels in semantic search. My recommendation more lean towards PG vector when integrated with PostgreSQL. Because adding a PG vector is quite easy and for practical reason, cost optimization, already available talent, people are all already available with Postgres. Many enterprises, businesses already use Postgres. That is why. So if I break it down, if you are already using Postgres SQL, adding PG vector is seamless, very easy. It is just an extension and it leverages the familiar SQL environment. It utilizes existing Postgres SQL infrastructure that can significantly reduce your costs. Based on various feedback, which I have received from various commenters on the channel, plus from the industry and many companies here in Sydney, Setting up PG Vector on Postgres with RDS in AWS can also be an option because it can scale effectively for many practical applications. AWS RDS is a managed database service from the hyperscaler cloud AWS. This gives you the best of both worlds. The power and simplicity of Postgres with advanced vector storage and queuing capability for large scale high performance needs where semantic search isn't a priority Milvus is a top choice, but for projects requiring strong semantic search and moderate scale, VV8 provides an effective balance of features, community support and performance. Selecting the best vector database ultimately depends on specific project needs, but PG Vector offers an accessible and powerful solution for many use cases. While Milvus and VV8 remain top contenders for specialized requirements in high performance and semantic search applications. So these are my thoughts on it. Very, very keen to hear about your opinion, your thoughts, or what exactly you are using in your environments. So please share it in your in the comments of the video. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.